Wow the announces that he's going to fight my boy King Kong Ortiz. I guess, you know, Deontay Wilder was doing marketing at its best, right? You know, calling out Joshua, talking about step aside, Tyson Fury, let me get in the ring with the winner aboard. You dig Ruiz and uh, Joshua. I guess that was just to put his name out there for his big announcement, right? I guess that's a good tool, a good marketing strategy. You dig piggyback off of the man and my boy Anthony Joshua. It's all good, but at the end of the day, man, I want to see that fight, people. I think it's a great Great fight. I think Ortiz, you know, almost beat him in the first fight. You did. I don't understand why the fight is even going down. But, you know, these guys got their own reasons. And I can only speculate that he didn't want to fight Joshua if Joshua would have defeated you dig Ruiz. He would have been like, listen, I already signed two fights, you know, with uh, Ortiz and your boy your Tyson Fury. So, I understand it and i'm happy that the fight is going down we ain't got to speculate no more whether or not they guys these guys are going to get in the ring you know it was alarming at first because i'm like hold on playboy what's y'all really not going to get in the ring after you allegedly said you're going to fight ortiz and you got a two fight deal you did with tyson fury and i'm like damn well where ortiz is at in all this because ortiz just turned down seven million dollars a fight with anthony joshua for all the belts and now you're not going to fight the guy that you you know you step aside or ducked to fight uh, Wilder and Wilder don't want to fight you like what's going on so you know that was the speculation and I'm happy that Deontay Wilder cleared it up you dig and uh, you know at the end of the day people don't forget Joshua is the man Joshua set the table Joshua is what these guys want to be Joshua is the guy that they're going to piggyback off of whether Joshua loses or wins they need to have their name entwined with Joshua before they fight even starts and I guarantee you when your boy uh Ortiz and Wilder do press conferences and they start talking. It's all going to be about Joshua. It's all going to be about Wilder when you're going to fight to be unified. Are you trying to get in the ring with Joshua? It's all going to be about Joshua because he needs Joshua's name in order to promote the fight. Just That's why he just announced that he's fighting your boy uh, Ortiz. And I, look, I think it's a great fight, people. I got to say that, you know, look, this guy is older. Uh, he didn't look good in his last fight. You know, Ortiz, that is, in the sense that there's some things that you need to do to beat Deontay Wilder. You got to be aggressive. You got to know how to finish the show. And I don't think he had that in him. Meaning, I think he don't, I guess, place his shots properly when he gets somebody hurt. He got a big punch. He can drop you. But have you ever seen, the, you know, your boy Ortiz, like, just, you know, 4-4, four, 4-5 four, four, punch combination, you know, to the body upstairs, downstairs. You understand me? Step back, pull back, jab, hook. We haven't seen those attributes and he's a heavyweight. He doesn't have those, but he's a good boxer. He can outbox you. He can outpunch you. You understand me? He knows how to use his jab. He knows how to use his feet. I think, you know, Wilder, if he look at the first fight, he can fix his mistakes, right? Easy. But he needs to push Ortiz on the back foot. Ortiz can't fight on the back foot. Ortiz can't fight under pressure. And with those wild looping windmill shots, he can land something on top of the head, on the back of the head, you understand me? And test that chin and put your boy down even easier, faster this time. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a good fight. It's a winnable fight for Ortiz, but I think Deontay Wilder just got his number. I'm looking forward to this Tyson Fury fight. Unfortunately, man, you know, we all talk about, you know, Deontay Wilder and all his antics. But for the fans, for your boy CBT, man, I want to see, you know, Joshua and Wilder unify. I do. I mean, you know, I want them to put their pride aside. I want them to get, you know, in the room and negotiate a fair deal you know joshua is always going to be a side he, 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 he that's that's just what that got to be you see what i'm saying i'm not going to allow you know you fans the people out there don't don't understand boxing and it's not understanding what eddie Hearn is explaining is that you know joshua fought tough competitors you know from his 16th fight and this is his 23rd fight at you know champion after champion top a level class fighter after a level, level level class fighter and then you want him to take you know some chump change you want him to be b-side to a guy who fought 40 fights you dig 41 fights in one tough fight come on now nah, we can't do that yeah he might got a name yeah we know he hit hard but at the end of the day man you know joshua sacrificed and put his belts on the line at the end of the day look what happened you know although it was outside problems and you know in-house fighting and he wasn't thinking about, you know, Andy. He was focused on Joshua, I mean, on, on Sloppy Wilder. So, you know, we're not making excuses. But my whole point is this, man. They got to figure it out. You know, Wilder really got to put his thinking cap on. You understand me? I mean, look, with all that money, I'm pretty sure you that he can get some tutors. And, you know, Shelly Finkel can 
put some people in position to get his mind right, man, because he's making foolish mistakes. You understand me? 120 million. Look, this guy would have been 100. He would have had 100 million by today if he would have took those two fights. You dig what I'm saying? Then ultimately fight Joshua. People say, well, you know, it wouldn't have went down because uh, Joshua lost to Ruiz. Think about this. The contract would have been signed. You understand what I'm saying? $120 million. Whatever Joshua won or not, Deontay Wilder would have collected. You dig what I'm saying? I don't care if he lost or not. Because at the end of the day, let's just say the tables was looking like this. Joshua lost. You know, wound up fought the two fights. And then, you know, Joshua lost. So will that fight be desirable? Hell yeah, it would. It would be definitely more desirable. It would be desirable. And Joshua Wilder could have took some time off because, you know, Joshua would have rematched Ruiz. And Wilder would have been in the wind looking, shaking. Like, what's shaking? What's good out there? You dig what I'm saying? I'm resting up. I'm looking. What's popping? Hoping that Joshua wins the rematch. And if Joshua does not win the rematch, the money is still collected. And then the easier fight for Wilder would have been Ruiz. Easy money. You see what I'm saying? Like, these dudes don't be thinking. You understand me? Because Wilder got other people thinking for him. And they have their best interest at hand and the network bitch, uh, uh, interest at hand. So, you know, he's not understanding that they're not looking out for him 100% because they have to work, worry about their pockets and the pockets of the networks and the people who are putting up this big money. You see what I'm saying? But he thinks he's a part of something. He thinks, you know, he's a part of a group. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, you know, Deontay Wilder is like one of those dudes that, you know, when he invests his money, he looks for a white dude to invest it for him. You understand what I'm saying? He's one of those dudes that you dig, he, he talk black power and then he, he, he marry a white woman. You dig what I'm saying? Like he, he, you can't do, you can't serve two masters now. I have nothing against white women. I date white women. My kids are white, half white. You dig out I rock with all races, so don't get it twisted. I'm just telling you the mindset of people. You dig what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you rocking with your boy CBT. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> yeah. New media, new perspective. This is what new media look like. This is what new media look like. Uh, it's all about you boxing talk. <laughs> just when you thought you it's had to figure out new media, new perspective. Cash boxing talk.